Hey, what's up guys, Sir Eminon here, and welcome to another series of feature match commentaries on the channel today. So this is going to be a little bit different because obviously the uh, ban list dropped yesterday. So what I'm going to be doing is actually showcasing both the top four matches and the final match in this video. Uh, because these are all played, of course, under the September format. So I just wanted to have these all uh, out of the way before we uh, enter a new format. Because it'd be weird to post games from like a format that's like not really going to be in use anymore. So that's why I'm going to be structuring it this way. Um, so if you guys do want to participate in the next tournament, signups are already open. So definitely be sure to find your way to the Discord server links in the description box as usual. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first top four match is going to be Graboid Fan 31 on Dinosaur versus Saint RL on uh, Mech Knight Orcist. So without further ado, let's just get started. We're going to go ahead and see Dinosaur win the RPS and is going to opt to go second. Not anything too out of the ordinary here. Uh, the opener for Mech Knight Orcus looks to be Nightfall, uh, or Purple Nightfall, Double Imperm, a Blue Sky, and a Scapegoat. So this hand's not very good going first. No starters with like Gearsu or Scrap Recycler, so you just have to set a couple cards because the Mech Knights don't really do anything um, at this particular point in the game. So yeah, it's going to be probably set 3 pass. And then for Dinosaur, it is Overraptor, Lost World, Pancratops, DD Crow, and Misk. So this hand's pretty good. I mean, Pankratops and DD Crow are obviously a lot better when your opponent has uh, things to do. But he still has OV, Misk, and Lost World, which is pretty good. Uh, he's going to go ahead and just set 3, and then pass turn. For turn, he draws another copy of Crow. Not very good right now, but definitely good in this matchup, just in general. He's going to start off by activating Lost World, and then going to go for Overraptor. Uh, Normal Summon Overraptor, use OV as Chilling 1, and Lost World as Chilling 2. He's going to Imperm Chilling 3 on the Overraptor. Probably going to be Mist to protect and then Impermanence Chilling 5. Obviously, you got to at least go for it because Lost World's going to blank these anyways, so might as well. So, Lost World resolves to give him a token. He's then going to go Battle Phase and then attack into the token using the Lost World protection. Uh, that's going to allow him to destroy a baby from the deck. And that's going to summon out another baby. Uh, main Phase 2. He's probably going to go uh, OV target the baby, summon out, and then baby summon like a, a misc. Then they can like go uh, arch off the misc to like pop the other baby and then summon another baby. And then he'll probably end on like rank 4, probably like Dolka, UCT, and a baby so he can pop it with it. That's my uh, prediction. Oh, he's going to go misc first. Okay. So he's going to summon out Archosaur and then pop the baby. Uh, so this is like going to be almost the same thing. It's just he won't have a baby to pop with the UCT or a Petite. So it could be relevant. Although it is a Pankratops in hand, so I guess that's fair. Uh, because most people are only on two babies now instead of three. So that makes sense, I guess, if you don't if you aren't able to end on like specifically baby instead of like Petite. Uh, yeah, that's okay. He's going to go ahead and go for uh, Misk off the baby. And then going to overlay for... Ooh, Tornado Dragon. Okay. So I can take care of the last back row, which is a scapegoat. So he's just going to chain it. Uh, that's going to detach the Misk. And he's going to chain scapegoat. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, just in case, um, this is illegal because uh, the Lost World token is summoned by the controller of Lost World, not of the uh, opponent. So... Even though Scapegoat has, or has a restriction, jeez, I cannot even talk right now. Um, even though Scapegoat has a restriction, uh, it's not really being hindered by Lost World. So there's five tokens, actually. That's quite a lot. Uh, gonna turn the Arch to Link Rebo. Uh, he has no non dino so he has to make Secure Garden here. Uh, and then can summon out Pankratops, because this one has five monsters now. And then gonna go for a Double Evolution pill. The Imperms were here and here. Yeah, this is fine. And then gonna go for UCT. And probably just passing that. Uh, this is actually not super strong, but there's actually not very many ways the Mech Knights can be utilized at the current moment, unless if he draws a Speller Trap to be able to set. So he needs to either find like a good normal summon or a back row to be able to set up Mech Knights. Uh, Grabway Fan's gonna pass. For turn, Saint is gonna draw a World Exe World Wand. That's not great. Um. Oh, it's really not very good. I mean, it can enable, I guess, the lib setups, but you'd have to get like a mech knight. You'd have to get like both of these engraved somehow. 
Well, actually, no, I guess the loop could, like, set, and then you can special make night. That's actually not too bad. So if we can, like, use a Nightmare to pitch this, that's uh, pretty good. So it's probably going to go, like, Link Freebo and then Phoenix, and then, like, Pop Lost World or something. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, he's going to actually use two tokens. He's going to go for Phoenix right away. Interesting. Um, so Grab Your Fan probably only has one baby left in deck, or one petite left in deck and zero babies. So it's like, he's obviously going to try and hit the Lost World. I'm thinking of like if he wants to like consider chaining it to hit a token so he can protect with Lost World. But the only thing he can really bring out with that is, or with the Petit is like Ovi. Which is decent, but it's not like crucial. Yeah, maybe he just like holds the Pancratops. He's going to use Phoenix, pitching the World Wand to go for the Lost World. He's just going to let that go. And then he's going to use Pancratops to pop Phoenix to get the body off the board. Oh, that's fair enough. I mean, this is still a little bit awkward. He can still go for Lib here. I think Lib only requires two monsters. Now, obviously, you have to have the World Legacy engraved, but uh, even if you like set something to set up a Mech Knight, like hit, Graboid can just uh, go Tornado Dragon to pop it. He might want to just pop it anyway, and if in the event there happens to be like a succession, um, yeah. So, not looking amazing. He is going to go for the Lib. And then Lib's going to activate. So let's see. That's going to set World Legacy's memory, so he can't use it this turn anyways. So maybe Graboid won't actually be inclined to pop it, and then he'll be able to actually resolve his uh, Mech Knights. We'll see. Blue's not going to get a whole ton of value, though. He's going to then go for a Unicorn. Interesting. So Unicorn's going to pitch uh, Blue as channeling 2, and Lib's going to be channeling 1. So Lib does not target... Which means that uh, Graboid has to use his things now. I uh, can't use uh, UCT, obviously, so he has to use Tornado to pop. Just in case it gets shuffled back. Uh, actually, I don't know what was targeted with the Unicorn. I didn't see. Let's find out. Let's see. It was... It hasn't been declared yet, the target. Targeting UCT with the Unicorn. So that means the is going to shuffle back the Tornado, so you have to use it right now. For sure. Yeah, he's going to chain it. Yeah, and this obviously can't be chained because it's a quick play. So, yeah, that's going to go ahead and be shoveled back into the deck. And this is also going to be shoveled into the deck. So, both players are operating on a few cards, but Dino is definitely favored here because he has Misk and Grave. And then Saint just has no hand traps. So, it, he's just going to be... It's going to be game. Either actually game or functionally game, we'll see. So Unicorn attacks here, Gardner, no damage, and then just gonna pass. Of a turn, we're gonna see an infinite impermanence being drawn. That's not gonna be helpful. Uh, Overraptor gonna banish four. That's gonna summon out Overraptor. Or sorry, Misk banish four to summon out Overraptor. Was thinking you step ahead of there. Uh, Overraptor gonna search. That's gonna search for Petite. So we can go normal and then effect to pop Petite, summon by Pancratops, Petite, summon the uh, Misk. Uh, and then go from there, although he has no access to UCT, but maybe he's just going for Dolka. Normal Petite, Ovi pop it, bring back Pancratops, and Petite summon out Misk, and then go for a Dolka. Battle Phase is going to attack over the Dolka, or the Unicorn with a Dolka. And then going to set Imperm and pass. Uh, yeah, for sure he's in a good spot. Uh, we're going to see a Scrap Cycle drawn for turn. I mean, that's just going to get dull good, and then that's just going to be the end of the game, right? Um, I guess the best play would just be to not do anything, because right now the Misk is stuck under this Dolka, so he actually doesn't have really that good follow-up. So he'll actually live in a lot of cases if he just passes and does nothing. Yeah, he's just going to pass. Uh, he's going to draw Ash for turn. Uh, so yeah, this is not great. He's probably just going to attack for... Uh, what is this? 49. I guess you could like normal scrap and like try to attack Pancratops, which would like traded. That's okay, but I don't know. It's not a great position regardless for uh, Mech Knight Orcus. Gonna attack for 23 and then 26, it's 49 total. And gonna pass. Draws the beer for turn. Yeah, this is the end of the game for sure, because now you just don't have any options. He's gonna set Scrap Recycler and pass. Uh, he's gonna top deck a Gamma. Jeez, these top decks are not good. 
Battle phase, attack, and then attack for 26. Uh, notably, if he summoned Didi Crow. Uh, oh, wait, no, the Link Feeble is banished. Never mind. Yeah. If he had a Link Feeble in Grave, he could, like, normal Crow and then, like, tribute it for Link Feeble. That would have been funny. But, yeah. That is not going to be the case here. If he draws a Crescent. All right, yeah. These, these top decks in both players right now have not been very good. It's just been, like, the same board state for, like, four turns. But that's definitely the end of the game now. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and summon out purple. Uh, he's gonna try and attack over Dolka, but then Pankratops, and then like even if you try to chain purple, it just gets Dolka. So yeah, it's not really gonna amount to much. Uh, battle phase, uh, purple attack. He's gonna go for Pankratops, and he's gonna chain purple, chain Dolka, and then that's just gonna be game. And then he's gonna go battle phase, and that's uh, game number one here. So moving into game two, we're gonna see Mech Knight Orcus go first. Uh, this is yeah, they won first both games. I'm just trying to remember here. So the opening hand for Mech Knight Orcus is Foolish, uh, Nibiru, Purple Nightfall, Strike, and Judgment. So this hand is decent. Uh, it's a little bit slow though. Um, but it's not a bad hand. You have like Strike, Judgment, and Nibiru. That's pretty good going first. Let's see what he foolishes for. I'm curious. Uh, he's gonna wait actually, which I guess is reasonable because like Foolish by itself doesn't do anything with uh, no other resources. So it also is like another card to just help set up a column if you need to like burn both of the solemns right away. So that's fine. Right, he's gonna set two and pass. For turn, Graboy draws a copy of Ice Dragon's Prison. Oh, I didn't even look at his hand. It's Lost Sword, Archer Sword, Trap Trick, Double Evolution Pill, Terraforming, and Ice Dragon's Prison. That is a very very bad hand. My goodness. I guess like you can go. Normal Archosaur after activating Lost World, give them the token, and then go into Link Creeper Secure Garden, and then like try and attack over it. I mean, that's the best you can do, right? And then you can like go, uh, pill, and you can use like your baby with your Ovi and stuff. It's not like horrible, it's just very, very crusty. He's gonna use Terraforming to add another copy. Er, no, he's adding a copy of Mystic Mine, okay. Just to have it, I guess. He's gonna normal summon Archosaur, and then gonna go Link Creeper. And then go for Secure Guard now. Interesting. So he didn't try and go for the Lost World stuff. Um, that's kind of interesting to me. Because like, he could have done this play anyways, except his opponent would have a token. He'd have a Lost World. He'd be able to go Battle Phase because we'd be on 500 because of the Lost World. And then just attack over it. It would have like forced out more things, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I personally would have probably tried to do that way. Or do it that way. Uh, he's gonna go Evolution Pill, Banish for Cost, that's probably gonna get Judgmented. I mean, you really just don't want to deal with that. Oh, no, it's not, right? He's gonna let it go through. So he's gonna go Battle Phase and attack for 45. And just gonna set on a couple of traps here, actually. He's gonna set Trap Trick and then set uh, Ice Dragon's Prison and then go Lost World. I find this to be interesting. Like, he had multiple chances to try and give his opponents tokens, but just opted not to. Right, he's gonna proceed to the end phase here, and then pass. For turn, we're gonna say top deck Ghost Ogre. That could be relevant. Like, you get Ogre the Conductor, or Ogre the Lost World. Not bad, not a bad top deck. Uh, he does have a column set up now, nicely for the purple, and he's foolish, so he can play the game. Special summon purple, and then gonna use purple effects. Choosing not to use Conductor, uh, fair enough. You just want to see how your opponent extends. He's going to search blue. And then special summon blue. And he's going to chain the uh, Conductor. Yeah, that's really nice because uh, he'll pop the Secure Gardener. This will be face down and there'll be nothing in his uh, in this column that Grabboy controls. So yeah, that's very good. Uh, he's going to strike in response to that. So actually, this doesn't destroy for cost, so the secure, now we're, secure guard now will be left on the field. So this blue sky actually will end up resolving. It's going to pay 15, and uh, blue sky will be able to resolve. That's going to get a search. He's going to normal summon the Gyusu, use its effect. That's going to send a copy of Nightmare. Um, definitely would consider using the prison on this. Resolution gonna use Ice Dragon's prison. 
Uh, he actually doesn't have to use Judgment here. Because he can Foolish the Wand and then play anyways. And he can just Judgment whatever this backer happens to be. So I think you just hold Judgment. Oh no, he's going to actually use it. Okay. Fair enough. I don't think he was relying on this Nightmare specifically to get there, but I mean, I guess it's reasonable. Uh, gonna go for Galatea here. And he's gonna use Nightmare Effect next. Um, so he's gonna go World Wand. If Grabboy plays two more Ice Dragons Prison, he can Trap Trick. Uh, and then use it again because it says you can only activate one per turn and it got negated. Uh, the activation got negated via Judgment. So you can't actually do it again. So that would be actually quite devastating here. Because once Wand and Gal get hit, it's going to be tough. Oh, actually no, he plays two Wand. So yeah, he would just be able to go for another Wand and then Wand back the Gal. And then it'd be like effectively the same result. So I guess it wouldn't actually matter too much. Fair enough. Uh, Wand going to go ahead and bring back Nightmare. There's also just a possibility he doesn't play three Ice Dragons. Uh, Galatea going to shuffle back a Wand that's going to set Crescendo. And he's going to link for another Galatea. And he's Foolish, that's going to send a copy of Symbol. And he's going to use Symbol to bring back the Gal. And he's going to overweight Ding, and that's going to probably attach. Unless you really want to send a Lost World, I guess you could. Yeah, I would have attached there too. I think that's the better play. Um, going to go for Battle Phase, attack over Security Gardener, and then attack for 21. Uh... Wait, was this boosted? That wasn't boosted by Nightmare. No, Nightmare was used when uh, the Blue Sky and the Gearsu were on the field. So this should be uh, 21, not 23. But not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, Envy's is going to Trap Trick. That's going to be for Survival's End. Uh, I don't know. I don't think... Uh, it's going to be hard to come back. Because he knows Crescendo's set. So it's like Mystic Mine isn't gonna actually do anything here. He needs like another card to be able to bait Mystic Mine or bait for Mystic Mine. Like ideally, I guess a Dino would be decent, but then he has like Ding to protect from the Survival's End, so not really sure. Uh, he's gonna go for or he's gonna draw Baby for turn. That's actually not horrible. Uh, he's gonna normal summon Baby, use the Lost World effect. That's gonna send over a token, and he's gonna use Survival's End. Choosing not to protect with Ding, interesting. So he's actually going to let the Survival's End resolve. So it's going to uh, go ahead and get Obi from deck due to Survival's End. And then, yeah, because it says destroy as many mo normal monsters in the field as possible. And if you do, special level 4 lowers. So if he prevents destruction from Ding, then uh, it won't be able to actually summon from deck. But he's going to grab Over Raptor here. That's going to use its effect. Uh, you're going to be chaining Ghost Ogre to that. That's not a bad Ghost Ogre here. Um, a little bit surprised that it wasn't actually used in the Lost World, now that I think about it. Because of the fact that uh, he knew that Survival Zen was set. So, like, it was obviously going for this play. So actually, if he ogred the Lost World, then the baby would have just been stuck there. And then like you obviously just negate the mine with the Crescendo. And then you just inst instantly win. Um, here it's not horrible for Graboid, actually, because he can go for Misk now. Oh yeah, this is actually really good now. So the fact that uh, Saint didn't protect with Ding or didn't use Ogre on Lost World means that he's actually really vulnerable because Misk resolving is going to out the board. And if it doesn't resolve due to Crescendo, then you just get Mystic Mind. So we'll see if he has an out to it. That might be what ends up happening. Let's see what uh, ends up occurring. I didn't watch this game in advance. Oh, never mind. It's not Misk at all. <laughs> I totally lied. He's just going to go for Conductor. All right, fair enough. I guess that's actually reasonable because of the fact that uh shuts off the Crescendo as well without having to really do anything. Um, and then you have at least some ways to interrupt your opponent. It's not the best case scenario, but it's not horrible either. He's going to banish two. That's going to summon out... Oh, don't summon it in that zone. Now Gal can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, no. 
Oh, that's a misplay. Big misplay there. Uh, battle phase is going to attack into the gal. It can't be a short battle now. Wait, huh? Oh, wait. Yeah, life points are a thing. <laughs> life points are definitely a thing. Holy moly, I didn't even realize. Yeah, he paid for all those solemns. Oh, I just totally didn't even realize that. He paid for the solemns. And he uh, lost life points somewhere earlier, too. Um, so this was from Strike. And yeah, he just took all the damage earlier. Wow, I don't, didn't even realize. <laughs> I was so focused on trying to like navigate the board and even pay attention to the life point count. Uh, I'm a little bit tired when I'm recording this right now. And I've recorded three videos today, so uh, bear with me on this one. My commentary might be a little bit shot, but uh, yeah, I guess that's one way to end the game, huh? Alright, fair enough. So that's going to be the match, actually, I do believe. Uh, yeah, that ended up being the match. Crazy. So Grabway Fan moves on to the finals with that, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next top four. So this is going to be Time Walker on Zodiac versus Jeebus McAsian on Virtual World. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this one. Looks like Virtual World wins the RPS here. He's going to elect to go first, unsurprisingly. Both players in 40 cards. Uh, the opener for Virtual World is Lao Lao, Skill Drain, uh, Lulu, Ash, and Triple Tactics. So, uh, you have to normal summon a Lulu, that's never really good. Uh, otherwise, Skill Drain's nice. And then for Zoo, it's going to be Twin Twister, Avarice, Ash, Triple Tactics, and Desires. Interesting to see Twin in the main. Uh, no Zoos, so Desires has to get there. He does have Ash, which could be good because his hand's pretty weak. Oh, he's gonna go normal summon Lulu and then use Lao Lao. Lao Lao targeting Lulu, Ash is gonna be used. I don't think he's too upset about this because this hand wasn't good anyway. Now I can use triple tactics. He's gonna draw two. Yeah, that's probably the probably the move. Like if he has Nibiru, he has it. You have to just accept it. He's gonna draw Lulu and Gigi. So not bad. Uh, the virtual worlds can target themselves, so that's good. Um, but he's not gonna do that. He's gonna use Gigi first. Sending Qinglong to summon itself. Banish Qinglong to add a uh, Lili. He could pitch a Lao Lao because he already used it. Yeah. Gonna go for Lulu next. That's gonna send Chuche to search Kowloon. Very, very... I really like that play a lot. That's like such a good play. It just guarantees that like, if you did have, for instance, a Lao Lao left over, then you're able to play through Nibiru better. And um, it just allows you to have more card type diversity, which this deck wants. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Wu searching Kowloon. So he's gonna go ahead and activate Chuche from deck with the uh, Kowloon. Then gonna send away for Synchro 6 it looks like. Gonna be Stardust Charge. Charge effect to draw Imperm, not bad. So at this stage, uh, you have a Lili still I think. So you can definitely end a VFD with this uh, hand for sure, absolutely you can. Uh, Lili gonna double foolish, it's gonna send Nian and Qinglong, summon itself. Uh, these two can make uh, Shen Shen raise this with Chi Che, and there you go. There we, yep, alright, Shen Shen, and then Banish, and then make this a 9, and that becomes VFD. Very, very simple. Uh, I guess it's Skill Drain and Imperm, and, uh, and Main Phase, and gonna resolve Zhizhi. Yeah, he remember this time, Poggers. Uh, it's going to add a copy of Lulu back to hand. And that is going to be a pass. So pretty, pretty strong. Oh, the, the Beer John for turn. Feels bad. He's going to let me phase go through. Uh, we're going to start off with a copy of Desires. That's going to be Ashed. He's going to triple tactics now to draw because he has no Zeus. Yeah, he really needs to, to find ZDX. And he didn't, my gosh. Double Avarice, Ash, another Ash, Nibiru. Like, he's just drawing everything that isn't a zoo. Ash goes to a Banished. Uh, Thera Blade. He's playing Phantasmia in the main deck, that's interesting. Uh, Ram Ram, Whiptail, another Phantasmia. So he didn't even banish, like, that many zoos. He banished, like, four if you're counting the tanky. So, I don't know. He's just not finding zoos. Are you gonna set and pass? End phase VFD Call Lights to get Shen Shen in Graveyard. He's going to pass. Uh, he is in a really good spot to win this game. He can even easily play around Nibiru, no problem. Um, setting aside the fact that he has this to be able to call light if needed. But yeah, this should be very, very clean way to end the game. Uh, VFD call light, and then Lulu 
Uh, that's going to target Chu Chi and then gets ashed. Uh, still not a big deal. You have Ching Long, you have Shen Shen. So it's 58. All you have to do is put up 22 and you win the game. Uh, you might want to like baby play around the back row. That's fair enough. Ching Long going to go ahead and search Lalo and then pitch uh, Ash here. Lalo going to send Ching Long. That's going to summon itself. Um, oh, wait, you're starting Chu Che. Oh, he's going to twin in response. Okay, that actually gets a lot worse now. So he's going to target the skill drain and the Chu Che with the twin. Uh, maybe he's thinking about using. I would consider using Chu Che on itself to recycle a Ching Long. I mean, it's, it's going to grave anyway. I mean, unless if you have a way to get another Chu Che right away, it doesn't really matter that it won't have or be live for a pop if it's going to grave, right? So I would consider doing it. Uh, no, he's just going to let it go though. So he's going to let Skill Drain and the Chu Che get popped. And suddenly we actually don't have game. Um, <laughs> that's kind of awkward. We have Shen Shen and we have a normal summon Lulu, but that is 600 shy of lethal, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, I forgot about Nian. I forgot he had Nian that he sent off the Lulu last turn. I totally forgot. Didn't even keep track. <laughs> so yeah, he's going to normal summon Lulu and then summon back Nian Nian and then just summon back the Shen Shen and that's game. There we go. That is now 900 over game. Oh, and you guys can't see the chat, but uh, Jeebus is saying they really need to ban VFD. Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> but game two, we're going to see Zuyu go first. Opener is going to be Tenki, Nibiru, uh, Imperm, Avarice, and then Barrage. So uh, actually finding Zuyu this time is nice. I really, really do not like seeing Avarice in the opening hand. It just feels so dead. Like You need cards to be alive as much as you can. Um, I don't know. I just don't like having the potential for cards to be dead. But Tenki is going to go ahead and grab Ram Ram. Oh, I didn't look at the Virtual World hand either. Uh, it's Ash, Desires, Triple Tactics, Imperm, and Lulu. So he needs another Virtual World card. But uh, he has two hand traps, which is alright. Uh, gonna go Ram Ram, then Tiger, then Hammer Kong, and then Dryden. And then set Imperm, pass. So this bypasses uh, his Imperm. But he drew the best card in the, get, uh, the deck. So he's now just able to play the game. Gonna start off activating Pod Desires. That's going to banish 10 to draw a copy of Nian and Chu Che. Uh, that's not bad. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Let's see what was banished. Uh, Skill Drain, Chu Che, Ching Long, Double Ching Long. So that's possibly relevant for the grind. Double Ching Long and Double Gigi. Alright, so that could be a hindrance to the grind. We'll see. He's going to activate Kowloon, that's going to place a Ching Long to try and force a Dryden. I like this a lot. So it's like if Dryden pops it, he gets a free search. If he doesn't pop it, then it's negated anyway. So, very good. Uh, he'd be... it'd probably be in his best interest to not pop it. Because like this would guarantee Lulu in hand. Obviously, um, Jeebus already has Lulu, but um, if the idea is to like, keep him off of Lulu, then definitely don't want to pop it. Also, it would play into Triple Tactics, which he happens to have as well. So, yeah, definitely just... Don't use Dryden, I think. Chain on target Dryden. Oh, he's gonna chain to pop it. Oh, hmm. I don't know about that one. Like, you're putting your opponent on, like, no virtual world cards at all for this play to work, which is, like, super unlikely after they resolved Desires and went second. So, I don't know. I probably would just let it go. Because now he has talents, too, which is crazy. Uh, banish Ching Long, that's going to search Lao Lao, and that can uh, pitch like Nian, or maybe a Chu Che, even. Uh, oh, getting rid of Imperm. Okay, so valuing every card in the hand. I guess you want to normal summon the Nian because you don't have anything else to put face up. Yeah, so you can normal, Lian, or normal Nian and then go Lulu, and that's like pretty good. Yeah, normal Nian, activate Lulu, target Nian, send Chu Che to, activate, uh, or to uh, add Kowloon. Um, he already used Kowloon. So, I guess that's for next turn. Uh, or more more so probably just to get the Chuche in Graveyard. While still having one in hand by not like losing it to the discard from Qinglong. So that's fair. Yeah, maybe he wants to level modulate. He's probably thinking of further ahead. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. He's going to go ahead and Synchro away for Juju. And then going to go Lelo, target the Juju, send uh, Kowloon. 
And then that's going to bring back the Lulu, which can bring back the Nyan. So he has a lot of tuners right now, but it's not bad. He can make VFD here too. Bring back Nyan by its own effect. So you can like synchro away for uh, Shen Shen, reduce by 3 to make Shen Shen a 6 with Chuche, then use the other tuner, and then make Cloud Castle. Uh, you could also like, I guess, just raise the Lala by 3. That's also fine. If you don't want to burn Cloud Castle, which is probably advisable. Uh, right, he's sinking. He's going to Chuche make Lulu a 6. Okay, so maybe he's going Fan Fan. Fanfan Fan does out the Dryden, which is really good. Uh, oh, he's going to overlay with the Lalo, so he's going to go for Fanfan. Fan. Use Fanfan Fan Fight to attach 2, that's going to be impermed. Uh, this is actually good though, because it also opens him up to Zeus. He can go Guy Charger Zeus in main phase 2, and an Shen Shen. Yeah, this is really strong actually. He might just go Battle Phase for more damage. Or you could be tempted to banish the Dryden with Shen Shen. I would probably be or tempted to do that, honestly. Um, I wonder if there's a way to go for game, actually. Uh, if you talents take, what is this? This is 5k plus uh, 15. Not quite game yet. Also, has he played into Nibiru? I didn't even think about that. Uh, one, surely, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is way past Nibiru, okay. So, yeah, he's probably just going to get nibbed, actually. Um, kind of surprised he didn't Talents earlier. He's going to, yeah, Synchro away for Shen Shen. I mean, this would be really good if not for Nib. He's going to go Guy Charger. He's going to get nibbed at the end of main phase. That's uh, 54 to 45. Too lazy to do the math, so thank you guys for calculating that. Uh, he's going to triple tactics to look at the hand. And you... Definitely shuffle away the barrage. Because this is not a live avarice at the moment. Yeah, that's definitely okay. He actually has no more Ching... So what's interesting is he has no more Chinglongs. Because uh, other two are banished. He could recycle it though with a true chase, so he's fine. But uh, yeah, this is actually a little dicey. And we also have Ash for whatever one of these cards he wants to keep, so like maybe he'll like, I don't know, but I think you just tuck away Barrage. Oh, he's gonna tuck away Avarice, alright, because he has Ash. And he has Chuche, I guess, yeah, that's fair. That's better interaction, I suppose. Yeah, I forgot he had Chuche to be able to deal with it. Because like, I guess you wouldn't want to pop Nibiru in the event that like he re top decks the Avarice, which is fair. Uh, set Chuche and pass. He's gonna get Whiptail, which is a good top deck. Uh, he's going to activate Barrage. Barrage, activate. We don't see what it targeted. He's going to Ash that. And then he's going to go for Whiptail. That can be just Chuchade. Oh, he's going to go for Borbo first. Uh, he's going to uh, go ahead and just Chuche here. And the token's actually bigger than Nibiru, so he's going to have to pass. Of turn, we're going to see a top deck, uh, Kowloon. Uh, so how can he do this? Activate Kowloon, get Qinglong that he just shuffled back, Chuche pop Qinglong, Qinglong effect, grab Lulu, and then win the game. Uh, that seems pretty good. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's just gonna Chuche and Nibiru, interesting, okay. Oh, but he has Shen Shen in Grave too, jeez, my goodness. Uh, activate Shen Shen, how big is the token? 54? Uh, oh, that's much simpler than what I was thinking. <laughs> I forgot he has Shen Shen Engrave too. I thought the token was 45 attack. Literally, I, I read it out loud. It was 54, 45. In my mind, it was 55 attack. Or 45 attack. Jeez. All these numbers are confusing me right now. <laughs> but this is enough for game for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So that is a, another 2-0 victory in the top 4. So Jeebus moves on with uh, Virtual World. And now we're going to move to the finals, which is going to be Virtual World. Uh, versus Dinosaur. And if you guys recall, this is actually a rematch from round 5 of Swiss, I believe. So here we go, the rematch of Virtual World versus Dinos. Uh, Virtual World does win the RPS, instrumental. Actually, not really, because it's Dinos, so 
the result would be the same, I think. Opener for Virtual World is going to be uh, Lili, uh, Lili, Lulu, Desires, Nibiru, Qinglong. So pretty good hand. Uh, it's not like the best hand, but it's one of the better ones for sure. And then Dino's hand is a psychic soldier that rides into battle against the security forces on Currents of Lightning using an autonomic amplifier called Cyframe. Uh, Lost World, Gamma, Artisaur, and Imperm. So... Yeah, his hand's really wonky. Ugh. Yeah, not a good hand. Like, he's just not having access to his engine at the moment. Uh, gonna activate Desires in main phase 1. That's gonna banish 10 to draw a Chuche Nibiru. Uh, not ideal, but at least he already has Chuche now. So he doesn't have to worry about getting access to it later, which is decent. Let's see what he banished. He banished a triple... Double triple tactics. Oh, looks like double Imperm, GG. Uh, his banish was really good. Very, very good banish off Desires. Uh, gonna activate Qinglong, and then go for Lulu. That's going to uh, search Gigi by sending Chuche. Uh, oh yeah, I ended up uh, watching... I think I watched this match. But I literally don't remember what happened. Nice, I have a great memory. <laughs> so, gonna go ahead and uh, use Lili next. It's gonna send Qinglong. Or, target Qinglong, rather, sending Mian. And then Gigi next. That's gonna target Lulu to send the Qinglong. Uh, triggering the Nian in the grave in the process. Then gonna go for Qinglong, that's gonna search for a Lao Lao that can go ahead and discard Nib. Uh, he can very easily do the double VFT play to check and then go Lao Lao afterwards and do Cloud Castle, that's definitely viable here. He has a lot of ways to do this actually. He's gonna go for a draw first off Stardust Charge. Uh, he's gonna Nian Channeling 2 to recycle. He's gonna grab a Kowloon, that's not bad. He has a Chuche, but not horrible. Uh, I believe, yeah, he put back... I think he put back a Chuche off the Nian. Actually, we can check. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, return banish Chuche. Yeah. I like how I can keep track of, like... Or I, I remembered what was banished, and then I looked at his banish pile again, and I noticed what the one card difference was. But I am not seeing the obvious stuff, like the easy lines for game. Like that's two games in a row, both the um, the Orcus versus the Dino match and the Zoo versus the Virtual World match. Like that's two times where I literally was like, "Oh, the opponent literally has game on board because of damage." And here I am just trying to like navigate lines differently to like put up a board, just because you know my mind is literally not thinking right now. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and carry on here. Uh, we're gonna go for Shen Shen, and then Chuche can raise Kirin. And that'll go ahead and make VFD. Uh, he's gonna go end of main phase, and then resolve Gigi in the end phase for Lulu. So now he has really good follow up. These are the best ones for follow up. Uh, super good. Um, yeah, his hand is nice. Uh, he does have Imperm Gamma though, which is notable. Um, so he's gonna pick up an Extravagant. That's also a very good top deck. Uh, so standby phase is gonna go. Uh, VFD, or Imperman VFD, Chain VFD, Chain Gamma. Uh, he might be reading Gamma though and just not choose to chain it. Yeah, he's gonna chain Call Fire, because he knows he's a point, and Stino, and then gonna go for Gamma. Yeah, so... Hand's looking a lot worse now. Uh, but the Extravagance is still gonna have to get him there. Because his hand is otherwise still kind of... Suboptimal. He's gonna extravagant, banish six, draw Ovi Mystic Mine. Okay, so the Ovi is good enough. Uh, didn't banish anything really that important. I mean, Dino never really banishes anything that relevant. Uh, gonna activate Lost World, then go Over Raptor, Ovi Lost World, Lost World Chilling 2. He's gonna let that go through, and then add, add a copy of Misk. And then he's going to use Misk, and then Ovi, target the token, save with the Lost World. Uh, oh no, he's going to chain 2, Chuche on the Lost World. So what that happens is this is now going to get destroyed, and then the Misk is going to come back. I mean, that's still not that bad. It's fine. Uh, he's going to Synchro away for Omega. He can now Omega rip something. Um, he's going to go for Dalka as well. Uh, so he's going to battle phase, hit for, what is this, 51? Yeah, it's 51. Uh, I don't know, this is like not great. Because 
You're just gonna get Qinglong on the Dalka. And then even if you snipe one of these two, he'll still have the other. Yeah, I think Virtual World just wins this match. Or wins this game rather. He's gonna pass. Uh semi phase he can like return something with the Omega, but it's not gonna be that relevant. Yeah. But he's not gonna do it though. You know, I gotta play around Gamma. Uh main phase we're gonna see. Yeah, Chinglong gonna target the Dalka. That was uh to be expected. Lolo target Chinglong. That's gonna send Yan. And then summon back Gigi. And then now that Gigi was summoned, you can summon back Nyan as well. Uh he has so many different ways to do this, because he hasn't used Shen Shen yet either. You can like summon Shen Shen. And then, oh, there's there's like a lot of ways he can do this. He's gonna go for Coral Dragon, Nyan to Recycle, and then he's gonna Coral on the Dalka, that's going to um, pitch the Kowloon. Wu is gonna target Lao Lao, that's gonna send Qinglong to search the third Chuche. He's gonna overlay for a copy of Fan Fan. Uh, let's see, on summon, gonna use Omega and then just chain Chuche. And that's pretty good. Yeah, chaining Chuche. And then you can use Qinglong. We already used the Lao Lao, but we could just go for Lili here. Provided that we still. Oh, we just recycled one, yeah. So we can go for Lili here. And then summon it, make Cloud Castle, bring back Shen Shen. And then that's pretty good. You could also go for... What's a way to just directly end the game right here? You bring back Shenshen by its own effect. Shenshen plus this is 54. So he needs 26. You can make Vermilion. So yeah, search Lili off the Qinglong. Pitch Chuche. Make Vermilion. Summon Shenshen this game. Yeah, so he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna add Gigi instead. Okay. Well, he can also just... Yeah, dump the Chuche and then level modulate. That's fine. Uh, Shenshen summon itself. Summon Gigi, target Qinglong, send Yan, summon itself, uh, and then go battle phase. This also works, this is fine. I actually don't know how much attack uh, uh, Lili has, so probably would have been fine to also just go Lili as well. So that's going to be game one for Virtual World. Moving into game two, we're going to see Dino go first. Opening hand for Dino is Trap Trick, uh, UCT, Archosaur, Fossil Dig, and Extravagance. So this means he's playing a Survival Zen, which is a very, very strong card. Hand is really good right here. And then for Virtual World, the hand is Kowloon, Lao Lao Desires, Kowloon, Cyclone. Uh, not a great hand. I really want this to be used later rather than earlier, so this is ours. Plus a draw for turn, you're going to have to find more Virtual Worlds, but opening Kowloon is pretty good. Main phase is going to start by activating uh, Extravagance. It's going to banish 6 to draw. Lost World Misk, okay. Well, you have everything now. That hand is stacked. Going to go ahead and Fossil Dig for a baby, actually. He's gonna Lost World, he's gonna normal summon Archosaur, that's gonna uh, trigger the Archosaur and the Lost World. Let's go ahead and grab Pill, and then Baby can summon a copy of Ovi. Ovi can then get a copy of literally anything, another Misk. He's then going to use Ovi on the token to send Baby, or destroy Baby, that's gonna summon another Misk. Uh. He could have done this a little differently. He could have pitched Misk and then go uh, Archosaur for Link Rebo. Oh wait, let's see what he banished. Uh, I'm pretty sure he played multiple Link Rebo and Secure Gardener, so it's like, he go Link Rebo and then Secure Gardener, and then he'll have Archosaur, Baby, Misk, and Grave. So then you go Misk banish itself plus Archosaur. To summon out baby and then Ovi target the baby to summon the other baby and then baby summon out the misc then so you have an extra baby on the field now so your field is baby misc Ovi secure guard now you overlay the two level fours into a rank four and then you go ahead and summon out your uct this way again you get to pop the baby with the uct and that's a lot of value um just like small things you're protected under misc anyway the whole time so might as well go for it uh, he's gonna overlay for delka and then go for link rebo and then secure guard now and then gonna go ahead and use UCT for Pankratops. Uh, okay, maybe they did this way to specifically try and get the 
conductor and the panko tops together, which I guess is fair. But I mean, we've had the option if he had like petite, like popped off UCT as well. That would have been the same thing. But functionally, it's not going to make a difference here. This is a very strong board. Uh, M phase is going to go and pass. Fraternity draws Qinglong, not bad, but not ideal either. It'll help deal with the board for sure. It'll answer one threat, but it's going to have to do more. Like, he's going to need something real good off this of stars. Uh, Kowloon's going to go ahead and activate Chuche. And then Desire is going to banish 10. That's going to draw Lancia, Pankratops. Uh, Pankratops is good here. Lancia's a bit late. Uh, let's see. So I believe that's 2 GG banished, if I saw that correctly. 1 GG, 2 GG, yeah. But other than that, everything's fine. Activate Cosmic Cyclone, that's kind of, you're gonna target the Lost World. Uh, yeah, because if you leave Lost World up, then you can't target your own virtual worlds. <laughs> so like, you're always gonna be, able to tar you're be targeting the trap, which is not bad, but I mean, it leads us to Pankratops, right? So yeah, you kind of have to do that. I think that's fine, rather than going for the back row. Which was Chain Will anyways. He's gonna go for Chinglong next. Uh, use its effect, it's gonna banish Kowloon. Let's see what he targets here, I'm curious. He's gonna target a uh, Dalka. Chain Pankratops to hit it. Uh, I think this is reasonable, because you have Dalka to stop like whatever you get, or get searched anyways, so that's fine. I think this Pankratops is okay. Or like this pop of the Chinglong is fine. Uh, as opposed to like the Dryden that we saw in the last match. But yeah, Chinglong gonna go search for a Lulu. That's gonna probably pitch the other Kowloon. Resolution gonna use Trap Trick. That's gonna go ahead and go for Survival's End. He's gonna Survival's End. Um, he's gonna chain uh, Chuche on the UCT. Hmm. There's maybe a world where you Chuche pop your own token, because this has to destroy the normal monsters by its own effect. So there's a maybe a case for that, because you can then force stuff really well with Pankratops. Because like if you just summon Pankratops at that point and then go battle phase, like they like you have to try and go for UCT, and then like you go and Pankratops. And then that like forces one Dalka negate and like a UCT. So then all you have to play through is one Dalka. Might have been worth it. But what's the alternative here? The alternative here is you p target the UCT, they chain Misk that you know they searched last turn off the Overraptor. Yeah, we definitely know that he searched a Misk because he started with one and he searched another. And then nothing gets accomplished. Yeah, I think popping the token is better here. Because, yeah, again, like, I'm just gonna think about this one more time. Pop the token, this doesn't resolve, like, this doesn't get a special. And then you go Pankratops, try and go battle phase, they try and flip it, and then you chain target the Dulka, and then they have to respond by negating it. Yeah, I think that would have been the good line here. Yeah, he's just gonna chain Misk. Oh, yeah, he's even saying maybe it was better to hop my token in chat. I think it would have been better. Uh, he's gonna summon up Pankratops, or not Pankratops, but uh, Petite <laughs> off the survival's end here. Special summon Pankratops. Uh, oh, yeah, he didn't shovel for a Chuche, but yeah, you have to do that. I actually uh, pointed that out apparently. Uh, yeah, yeah, I messaged him about it. Uh, I like how I caught, caught it like when I was watching it in real time, but I'm not catching it right now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, he's gonna go for. The end of main phase, and then UCT gonna go ahead and pop. You gonna chain Pank Grandoka, chain Dolka, and then resolve UCT. Uh, Lulu going to go ahead and uh, target the Chuche. He's gonna chain Survival's in response, which is now gonna be able to pop the Petite and the Chuche. Oh, yeah, that's like way better than, yeah. This is better that he popped the Secure Gardener here, because now he has this available. Oh, that's super strong. So now, I mean, he hasn't normaled yet, but like, his last VW is well, well, and it gets negated, and then he loses the game. So that's a lot of interaction here, even though it was just two turns. Lots of interaction. Uh, this gets destroyed, summoning out an OV. 
that's going to go ahead and search for copy of UCT. So, yeah, like you try a normal, I guess, and make a play, but it's not going to amount to much. Even if it did resolve it, like, the best thing would have been a rank 3, because these are both tuners anyway. So, yeah, it was not looking great. Uh, going to go normal summon Lulu, activate Lao Lao, that's going to be negated, and we're going to move to game 3, probably. Uh, pretty soon, at least. Uh, Lulu going to beat over the... Uh, the Overraptor. Unless there's something I'm just missing. Oh, I guess he has Lancia, so he thinks he's probably not dead, which is fair. Because he probably isn't going to straight up die, but he's going to have to deal with this still. Uh, and there's no uh, Chang'e in Grave. Uh, draws a copy of Extravagance. That's going to be shut down by Lancia. You're definitely just shotgun it here. Yeah, his whole hand actually banishes, which is funny. And he has like two Misks in Grave. Um, so, if you normal summon... Mm, yeah, no, you just keep it, I think. I guess you could normal summon, that's not bad. Just for the extra damage. It's not horrible. But yeah, I mean, you might as well just keep your protection for UCT. Battle phase, attack for 19 plus 23 is, what, 42? There we go. And then I'm gonna pass. And you're gonna draw Chuche. That does pretty much nothing. So he's gonna go ahead and... Uh, scoop it up, and we move to game number three here. Who's gonna take it home? Place your bets now. But we're gonna see Virtual World go first in game number three. Opener for Virtual World is Lancia, Lalel, Kowloon, Chuche, and Nyan Nyan. So this is not amazing, but it's playable. Again, you hate using this early, but I mean, at this point, you gotta just take what you can get. You have Lancia, which is decent. And then for Dino Hand, it's going to be Baby, uh, Terraforming, Archosaur, UCT, and Fossil Dig. This hand has no hand traps. Oh, that's not great either. So both of them open, like, good, but not the best case scenario. I'm uh, going to go ahead and activate Kowloon first. It's going to set Chuche face up. Lalo going to send a Qinglong. That's going to summon itself. And then Qinglong going to search for Lulu. That's going to pitch probably the Chuche. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You can normal summon this and then keep going. Uh, gonna go for Lulu first. It's gonna send another Qinglong. Searching a Gigi. And then going to normal summon the Nian and then go for probably Stardust Charge. Yeah, he loves going for Stardust Charge a lot. He goes for it a lot. Just because it's pretty good value. Uh, it draws another Kowloon, which is not very good, unfortunately, here. Uh, but this is still okay. You can go for Gigi next, that's so going to target the trap to send a Nian. You can trigger the first Nian. And now he has... He has VFD for sure here. Like, even these two just synchro, even without the Chuche engrave. Gonna go for Shen Shen, then go for Croc. Uh, and then going to Croc draw, Nian shuffle, back to Star Charge. That's a cool play. He banished it. Um, by doing it in this order, with Shen Shen first, he banished a Charge Warrior via um, just the Shen Shen effect. And then Nian Nian was able to cycle the charge warrior so it can draw again potentially later. So that's a nice little interaction. Draws Ash, that's a good draw. Very nice. And he's gonna go for uh, Calamities. Calamities and Lancia is like so crazy against Dino together. And main phase and resolve GG. Uh, that's gonna add back either Lulu or Lalo. I like adding Lalo a lot personally. I like that card a lot just for follow-up but uh, understandably Lulu is also really good. But yeah, he's going to add Wallow here. I like that a lot. And for turn, he draws a Psychic Soldier that rides into battle against the security forces on Currents of Lightning using an autonomic amplifier called Cyframe. You hate to see it. Uh, then you draw a phase, he's going to use Lancia. And that is going to be quite strong. He's going to use Fossil Dig. That's going to add Misk. And then he's going to go Terraforming to add Lost World. There's not a lot you could do. Like even with this not resolving, it wouldn't really matter a whole ton. Uh activate Lost World, then go normal summon Archosaur, Challenge 1 Archo, Challenge 2 Lost World, Challenge 3, Calamities. Challenge 4 Misk. Uh he's calling Earth with the Calamities. That way no matter even worst case scenario for the Archosaur, uh he won't get value off of whatever he pops. I think we saw this in the round five matchup against the or with these two. Uh but yeah, Mist doesn't actually like do a whole ton here, but because like this prevents activations, where it's just already activated. Like, people compare this to Skill Drain, but it's more like Majesty's Fiend. Um, or like Border. Like, that's like the type of lockout it does. But he's gonna pop Baby, and then search for a pill.
but I know Lancey just cannot do anything, my goodness. Like, he can go for Link Rebo Security Gardener and then, like, use the Lost World, but that's gonna what, pop a baby that can't be activated because he called Earth, so it, it's just not good. Uh, summon Link Rebo, summon Security Gardener, go to the end phase. Uh, he's gonna go Chuche and Secure. Uh, no, he can't target Secure Gardener, so he's gonna go Lost World. So he's gonna recycle Nian and Qinglong. And then pop the Lost World and draw for turn. That's Talents, which is really good. He goes Calamities and then call like Nibiru. Or call Light. <laughs> Calling Nibiru. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we're going to go for a Lolo next. Targeting the Trap. Sending Qinglong. That's going to summon out Gigi. That can trigger the Nian. Because he sent another one. Nian summon itself. It's going to Synchro for a Vermilion. And then Vermilion banish the Lulu to pop Secure Gardener. This is 57 plus 15 is 72. He needs this 800 damage. And he has the Shenshen engraved, so that's just going to be it. Yeah, use Shenshen, bring himself back. And battle phase, that is the end of the game, and that is going to be the end of the tournament. So, congratulations to Jeebus McAsian for winning the tournament with Virtual World. And shout outs to GrabloidFan31 for finishing second place with Dinosaur. I'm <laughs> revealing the driver there as is tradition but guys that's gonna be it for the video and i want to thank everybody who uh watched all these future matches as well as everyone who played uh thank you for making this tournament a success just as a general tradition in the discord tournament now it's been going on strong for uh five series and we hope to make it a sixth with this tournament that's going to go on uh next week uh check out the discord tournament or discord server rather again link is in the description box below if you want to check out the information for it but I've been recording for 56 minutes now, so we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like as well as any thoughts or feedback in the comments. Subscribe for more informative and competitive video content. If you want to, you can follow me on all social media platforms or support me uh, via Patreon or TCG Player. All links in the description as always. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.